forgot I was going to do that until like two seconds into the countdown that you did. Oh, God. And then I was like, oh, wait, no, I've got. Oh, God. Oh, God. Uh, yeah, that works. <laughs> Uh, although if it's if it's premiering in the evening, I don't know if it works. Bonsoir means good evening. That's it. Mm. It's okay. why it's funny when I do it at any other time of the day. I usually okay. do it in the mornings because I think that's funnier. Okay, gotcha, gotcha. Uh, yeah, it's yeah. like my mum saying um, "bon chance" when she gives us food. Fair, fair. <laughs> good luck. <Yeah. laughs> uh, well, thank you. Uh, it's been a hot minute. It is sick and all that stuff. You've been ill. I've had COVID. You had COVID. Technically speaking, I still have COVID. You still have COVID. (coughs) That wasn't intentional. (laughs) So I wasn't making a point of breath. That's fair. That's fair. Uh, fun times, fun times for us. Uh, Do you want to introduce our lovely podcast so we can just. Oh, fuck. Yeah, that book. Hi, everyone. Welcome to all the films we judged before. We're sorry we haven't been here for a bit. I am Katie. That's Lily Kay. Oh my god. Oh my god, it's me. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> no. it's so wonderful. I uh, couldn't cover up the spot. It's it's much less it. of a spot now, but <laughs> it is still there. And I keep picking at it, which is really bad. I have just, you know, why not now? It's Comic Con week. I have <laughs> one right above my lip. I I concealed it now, so it's not that visible, but I'm I was stupid enough yesterday that I picked on it, and now mm. it's just a big red angry spot, and I'm like, "Yeah, fuck." <laughs> then we got all the lovely pictures because uh, this was um hell on earth. I mean, it was literally a monster. You look good. I have a pimple obsession, by the way. So <laughs> we got all the gory details. It was very, it's very cathartic for me to be able to talk about these sorts of things. As well. You can always. I'm just like, it's disgusting. So good. <laughs> You can do it with me. Uh, but we are not a pimple popping channel here. <laughs> we could be. It's good. No, I don't think we need to move into that. No? Okay. Um, uh, but here's the thing. Let's talk about... We we are we have two very heavy topics to talk mm-hmm. about today. Uh, big things. Big things. This is going to be a big episode. We're it's... sorry about that, but also illness. <laughs> illness. And also, it's going to be relatively big because i just realized that i said i'm free and then i realized that i have a meeting so oh we have to pick up on the pace and and do it as best as we can how long do we have uh, we have uh, an hour and 10 minutes at the moment oh that's fine we'll that's plenty of yeah. time yeah we, so we, we should be fine um let's talk about first uh those guys behind you i don't My have kids. a background yes uh Katie made me watch it. It did. <laughs> let's let's start it with that. Let's okay. Let's start very quickly. I feel like we're going to be rushing so much. Let's take a breath. We yes. are. We do have time. Yes. Before one to two, do you did you like it? Do you see why I like it so much? Those are the big questions I have for you first. Okay. Uh, yes, I can. I I I see why you like it so much. Like okay. it's it's such a Katie show. <laughs> I can't say it any other way. It is. I I got to know you in the past two years now. Are we at two mm-hmm. years? Yes. Uh, and uh, literally, I think two years, like very recently, actually. Very, yeah. Like, as of last month. That's true. Mm-hmm. That's true. So yeah. It's, yeah. So um, I I wasn't surprised. If <laughs> <laughs> we didn't like this, it's I... like yes, this is something Katie would love. <laughs> so, no, uh, okay, number. Now here's my question: What do you think it is about it that um? that I like so much. What, what do you think it is about it that makes it a very me show? Because now I'm curious. Uh, that, oh, whew, that's a hard question. That, <laughs> uh, it, it, it does have a funny bone in there. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think that's uh, fair. I think the weirdness. You, mm-hmm. you have a thing for weird things. So I do have a thing for weird things. That's, I do like a weird like, thing. It's, it's, it's very, and, and it also has a very good dialogue, which you like. Mm-hmm. That's true. And, uh, and, and you know, the characters, obviously, is, is something uh, that are like a top thing for you. So I wasn't yeah. surprised with that, by that because the characters are very good, even though I have opinions on season three. Well, yeah, um, okay. I think <laughs> we're going to start with that when we get, when we get into season yeah. three. Because I'd like to get that out of the way because yes. there are a lot of things about season three that I absolutely adore. Um, but there is obviously one very big thing in season three, which is, I mean, it's it's. Let's not mince words. It's kind of abhorrent. 
it's awful. It's awful. There you are. Okay, we get to that. Uh, we get to that. Uh, we get to that. And and that uh, you know it can it can be funny and serious at the same time. I think that's a very good thing. Uh, I think that I think that that's a very a fair assessment of yeah. me. I think the only other thing I'd add in is a very strong theme. Oh yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. You you are a sucker for those. I do love a theme. <laughs> yes, you do. Uh, <laughs> Not so, yeah. me once again screaming on Twitter about black sales because I'm listening to a black sales podcast at the moment. There you go. There you go. So I know you. I know you. The wonderful ordeal of being known. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's uh, very nice. Yeah. Feels, that feels uh, good. I I will put it this way. Uh, I really liked the first two seasons. I think they are excellent, especially the second one is is like peak. And very interesting because a lot of people didn't like the second season. I like the second season because I I like the teams that uh, uh, get introduced in there. Uh, mm-hmm. uh, I missed oh fuck names. Uh, uh, Harlan, Harlan, Harlan. Yes, I missed Harlan, especially after you telling me that that was uh, the same guy who paid. <laughs> Ed Wait, sorry, sorry, no, that's that's, that's not, not Harlan. That's, that's, that's Hazel. Um, Hazel, there you go. Hazel, age, age. There yes, you go. Uh, Hazel. I see. What it, it, it's it's like oh I my God. I also missed Hazel after he he yeah. kind of it was it's, like because he's wonderful. And <laughs> that was the disappointing part in season two. To be mm. fair, then he came in and then done, and I was like, fuck, really. <laughs> uh, but uh, yes, uh, and uh, I have I have problems. With the recent season uh a lot i'm not gonna lie I, I i already told you about some of them but uh yes my problems with season three all center around one thing um should we get into it now yes so allison's a big issue in season three um they and i don't they've, they've 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 done i so because i've think I've, th- I've thought about this a lot over the past week or so and i have come to the place of being I understand what they were trying to do. I get the the fact that, and I, I appreciate the idea that they're going for a character who has been through immense amounts of trauma and has basically just gone, you know what? No, I'm not going to be okay anymore. I'm just going to let, I'm just going to be absolutely not okay. And I think that that is a fair thing for this character, um, especially as she has just lived through two years worth of the Jim Crow era of um, Texas. Um, she, uh, I know you don't think that they've done this particularly well, but uh, she has officially lost her child and her husband. And um, it's like, th- there are things, I, I, I see what they were going for. I just think that they went too far in multiple ways. I think they've made her too venomous in a lot of places. And obviously, the sexual assault of Luther was not okay in any way, shape, or form. It wasn't okay. I uh, on that scene, I will say one thing that I I think it was. It's gonna sound weird, but I think it was good, in a way. Is I see, I see what you mean. I think I think I think the fallout of it was incorrectly handled. Yes, uh, that was definitely incorrectly handled. But I think it was good to show that a woman can also be. The well, one. there's that, and Ooh, also, you know. <laughs> Alison. Ha- this is not out of character for Alison, technically speaking, because this th- she um, yeah. it is the canonical that she rumored Patrick to fall in love with her. Yes. So she has a streak of being incredibly manipulative. Yes. Um, controlling yes. and like, and the, when we meet her in season one, she has no relationship where she has been forced out of her relationship with her daughter because she'd been using her power on her daughter um and it's why she decides that she doesn't want to use it anymore and etc and it brings me up up to how we get to season two and all that sort of stuff um so it's not it is not out of character for her to have done this yeah um is the and there is there is precedent for it in the comics as well that she's done it till she's at least forced Lucy to kiss her in the comics Mm. that is that is the scene uh, and a and a and a pointed panel that I had actually forgotten about until somebody brought it up, um, but I don't like the fact that they, and I think that actually they have the potential to fix this in season four to have characters react to certain things more in in, in a new season, which I'm hoping we'll get. I still hope that we get more, um, 
but I think that, and I think that's the case with, with a lot of the stuff that I have issues with in this season that I think that actually, because they've done so in the past, they'll address it more in season four because they've actually reacted to a lot of the ways that the fans have reacted to certain things in the show mm. um, in later seasons. Um, so I have, I think they have absolutely the potential to, to not necessarily fix, but address a lot of the things that are wrong with the way that they've done Allison this season. Um, yeah. I don't know. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest. I'm like, uh, I, I, I don't like late reaction. Let's put it this way. Like, well, uh, I see him. Um, yeah, because I had an issue uh, with the fact that Alison's daughter is not even mentioned in season two. Like, forgotten, done. We step into season three. Oh my god, where's my daughter? And I'm like, well, you have to remember that in season two, that is the reason she left. Like. Straight up, it's, it's the only reason she would have left. Like, there's no other reason for her to have left. Like, it, and even if it's not mentioned, it's definitely still a driving force for her. I think that there's holes in the writing of this show, and I will happily admit that. Uh, I think there's holes in places where they could have, like, addressed certain things and then they didn't. Yeah. Um, I'm not... I, have, I don't think I've ever said that the show's perfect, and if I have, then I was being hyperbolic, and I don't actually think that. I think that this is a very messy show mm. in a lot of ways. Um, and I'd be, I'm happy to to say that any any old time, um, but I uh, yeah I, I I maybe it's because it's my reading of it and I'm I'm happy to fill in certain um, holes. I'm I'm kind of the same way with The Witcher to be honest. Like The Witcher's not a perfect show. It's got a lot of holes in it, but I kind of like the fact that it, it makes me very more inclined to to be protective of it in a way when people get very 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 <laughs> annoyed at certain things because mm. i think it's there's a, there is a certain element of just kind of forgiving um the human element to the writing yeah that makes sense yeah, yeah, yeah. um so like maybe yeah i it's been a, it's been two years since i've watched season two so i don't remember them not mentioning allison's daughter at all it, but i don't i all. don't i don't see that as Alison doesn't care about her daughter. I just see that as the writers didn't put in any moment where Alison went, oh, I have a child. Because, um, I mean, she wouldn't have mentioned that to Ray because uh, yes, she didn't I... tell Ray about any of the rest of it. She probably mentioned it in, you know, everything he to she told him when she did finally start telling him about, like, her life before and where she comes from and all that sort of stuff. Um, I don't know. There's... <laughs> nah, I, I, I don't know. It's just... Um, it... It, I think it's a valid complaint. That's all I'm saying. Yeah, uh, it very much annoyed me what they did to her uh, this uh, season because I feel like it is out of character. Not the manipulation stuff and things like that, uh, but this sudden change, like just snap, I'm a fucking bitch and and I am the most hateable character ever created. And I'm like, the fuck did you do with Alison? Like, you know, I I would have understood. Uh, you know, a certain level of anger from her and mm. and becoming... I, uh, I think that they took that level of anger and took and it to, like, too, venom. Too much, too much. It's, it, was, it, was, it was pointed yeah. and, like, hateful yeah. in a way that I feel like... like and I, and I want to stress as well that I think, um, even though I have... We, I think both of us have, as we've mentioned, major issues with, like, just how far they took it. I do think that Emmy did a fucking brilliant job the entire season. She's great. Like that's <laughs> <She's> amazing. <laughs> yeah, there's there's no problem there at all. But I I just I don't like it when they do this with characters. Yeah. Like, no, I think that's I, I, I call it the Daenerys problem. Uh and mm. if you if you watch Game of Thrones or you heard about it or you read about it like Katie did, you know that Daenerys' change uh at the end of season eight is so out of character and yeah. so fucking stupid because they built her up as being different from the other Targaryens mm. and then suddenly ah, yeah, this it, it will be make any fun sense. let's make her destroy <laughs> everything even civilians who, was, who she was trying to save beforehand but not mm. now she's gonna burn down the city and I'm like I see, it, the thing about it is like I don't think as well I don't think any of her anger at Victor I think a certain level of, of anger at Victor does actually make sense because of course Victor does yeah. Victor did end the world. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> he is absolutely the reason yeah. that she was separated from her daughter in the first place. Yes. But at the same time, 
there is, I mean, and I, I can understand disregarding that because you are annoyed and angry, well, not even annoyed, angry yeah. about just everything. Mm. But as the, the one of the first things that when I spoke to my mom about this, um, trauma and hate and, and anger do not make you hate your siblings. Um, <laughs> It's like it, and I, it's like I get what they were going for in that they wanted to have it so that she, they were like, I guess, pointing it at somebody so that she felt like she was like getting it out in some particular way. I just, yeah, I agree. I think it, it took her too far out of too character, far. yeah, um, her character, yeah. But yeah. I, I mean, I still, I still believe that if we have an Allison in in season four who has to reconcile with the fact that because we'll get into the ending in, the, in a minute I feel like because that ending is batshit and also kind of part of the reason I like the show mm. <laughs> um I think that ending means for Allison that she's gonna have to face up to this this like she, her flaws are still that right yeah. she's still got this manipulative streak she's still got all this trauma that she's you know carrying around and the version of we don't know what actually this version of ray that exists here we don't know what that looks like we don't know how much of this is actually like a wish fulfillment um we we don't know a lot of things about what this ending actually means for, yeah. for these characters but i have a feeling that it's going to be a case of like um be careful what you wish for in a sense because yeah, i feel probably. like it's going to be like a lot of like you got everything you wanted you're still not happy though, are you? That yeah, kind of thing. Yeah, 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 and I yeah. think that for Alison to become, to at least finish off the what I feel like is the beginning of an arc mm. for her, she has to grovel basically and really in turn and figure out this pain and the fact that a lot of her actions were incredibly selfish all season. Yeah, They were incredibly selfish. And I'm not saying that that is a thing that needs to be admonished in a character or like, but it it turned into this thing that was so, yeah, it was so hateful, and it yeah. felt like it it, it made me uncomfortable. And not it didn't make me uncomfortable for watch makes me feel like considering there's been a conversation around Alice in this season that has strayed very far into racism because she's one of the major black characters on the show, and then but at the same time there has been a lack of nuance in the conversation where it's like. Yeah, I do think that they took her too far, but I don't think it has anything to do with the fact that they she's a black woman, right? Mm, <laughs> it's like mm. I feel like we should be able to have a conversation about the fact that she is right in many places, but the way that they pointed that anger was was too much. Too much. Um no, where I, we can have, you know, a nuanced conversation about both sides, but it feels like, you know, what the internet's like, they, they seem to be on one side or the other where everybody's a bit like, oh, girl boss, Alison, to, yeah. uh, to Alison should die now, which is the other side of things where I'm like, Jesus Christ, you guys, what the fuck is well, this? To, to be fair, even I felt like that, and, and she is one of my favourite characters uh, yeah. from the beginning, and, uh, and even I was like, I just don't want to see you anymore, like, this is just so fucking awful that I'm like... What the hell did they do? What what were they thinking uh, when they came up with this? As I said, yes, certain amount of anger and you know, um, uh, being a horrible uh, argument you, with, yeah, with and it's, whoever, it, it, it's 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 fine. But this, like, I there is definitely a precedent for trauma and anger and losing that much in what is of a short period of time it is stupid that they didn't have anybody point out and I, you and i had this conversation yeah it's stupid that nobody pointed out to her when they got there realized the sparrows were a thing and that they don't exist in this universe it's like hey allison you might want to be aware that maybe your child doesn't exist yeah. in this yeah, universe yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. like the fact that nobody mentioned that and the fact that she still fully believed that she would just be there yeah it's yeah, yeah. insane um <laughs> I don't know. I, I, Alison was definitely the the major problem uh, with mm. season three. Uh, yeah. I also, well, I I uh, I'll be doing the the bad things. I think we yeah. should continue with the bad things because okay. I, 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 like uh, I said, I have a lot of things I I also just really really love about this yeah, season. Yeah, yeah. Um, um, but I think I, we want I want to get the bad stuff out of the way first. Yeah. Uh, the Sloan and Luther storyline is just a no for me. Uh, it came out of nowhere, especially after uh, Loser being in love with Alison for two se seasons straight. <laughs> I mean, I was like, 
the fuck happened? Like, he suddenly sees a woman who's beautiful and whatnot, and he's like, ah, I don't care anymore. And like, the fuck. I and they, and they, they made yeah. him even dumber than he was becoming in season two. And I was like, what's happening with this character as well? Like, <laughs> I don't agree entirely. I mean, I think, yes, I think they've made him more stupid. Yes. But I don't necessarily hate that because I think that this version of Luther is kind of, I like this version of Luther. I like the carefree aspect of Luther, just having, being able to just that kind of thing. Because I think everything, and I think that is in reaction to a lot of the way that people reacted to Luther in season one, because you weren't there in season one. People hated Luther. I mean, really, really hated him. They were like, he is the worst absolutely the worst sibling don't care about him like it's it's the same thing they just wanted him gone like they just thought he was shit i know i was i have been on the loose suspense constants this season one i'm like that boy is traumatized and deserves a chance (laughs) i stand by it and i am correct um (laughs) i feel very vindicated by the sort of loved lovable loser that we have got i do think they may be taking a bit too far in places and i think that's the case with a lot of characters because i think i feel that a lot with klaus as well who I love desperately, but I feel like they, they, I think they, not necessarily stupid, but I think they flatten him in places, in like emotionally speaking. Um, I'll what get to mean? that in a minute. What? Because I, I was I, just about to say that the best part is still close and fine. Oh, I do agree. I think Glass is absolutely the best part, but I think there's a couple of, I would like, Klaus hasn't really reacted to some things with as much like depth as I would have liked. Um, and this is me being picky, I think, at this point when it comes to Klaus. But it, there's like, Klaus has went through, like, I guess, I suppose it has been a bit of time, but he's still, like, lost Dave. Dave got one mention this whole season. Yeah. Um, and that annoys me. Um, I, I, it annoys me, but it, it makes me go, mm, I would like more from yeah. this. I, I would like... There's, there's just a, it's like a level of like, I, I kind of want to see Klaus lose it. Like he did in season one after he came back from Vietnam. Cause I feel like that was, I love that. I yeah, think that, yeah. but I feel like he even says it himself. He's lost. Um, he lost, like, but he's season one, dad kills himself. I know that they say that they don't care about that, but whereas we all can clearly see Klaus very much cares about his father. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Multiple examples of this. Yeah. And the, he lost, um, he lost Dave. He lost his mother in this in this timeline. Yeah. And considering he is so connected to death, I just feel like there's not enough of him exploring that aspect of him switch the being this sort of lord of death. Mm. Um, he lost Ben. That was the other one. I was trying to think of what it was like. There's something else that he lost that was quite significant that they haven't really gone into they've just kind of seen him be melancholy about the whole thing but they haven't seen i haven't seen an actual like depth of sadness about the fact that he's lost so much i think he's getting there i think he's getting there too and i think that's probably a place where he believe me i actually get to in in a potential season four yeah if we get it fingers crossed um um i feel i feel like we're getting close to that place but like we haven't reached it yet for me I just, re- I just really want to see him go out. <laughs> I think he will. Like, <laughs> like you know, this uh, uh, his story arc in 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 this season was clearly uh, heading uh, mm. to that direction. I feel yeah. like, like, you know, uh, I want to talk about, I want to talk about uh, 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 the dead. Yes. The Do you know what? Real quick, <laughs> I just because because I, I feel like we want to go in that direction, but I just want to. I it doesn't the Sloan and Luther the thing doesn't bother me. I just think it's cute. Um, I think it's nice that they've finally taken him away from wanting to be with Allison. Um, I think the fact that it happens over such a small period is just a, a reaction to the fact that this is a season. Then they kind of have to go through the season. Um, you know, they, they they they've they've, they've kind of truncated it because. Well, it's the first time Luther's met somebody who I, I think is as sweet and and is like on a level with him in terms of like personality. Um, I don't know. I just, I just, I think it's nice. <laughs> that's, yeah. it. that's all. I don't really have any major. 
that's too many thoughts about it to be honest and i understand that it didn't work for you and that's fair no. enough <laughs> no it didn't it didn't work for me uh but yeah the dead the dead I... wait do you do you want to go is into the dad or is there anything else that you didn't like about the season before we move on to the other things <sighs> Because I feel like those are the, like the big thing issues that you had, and I feel yeah. like Allison's kind of. I was trying to think of anything else, but Allison's really the only massive thing I didn't That's like. That's a massive thing, yeah, yeah. I also wasn't a big fan of how quickly they got rid of the sparrows. That wasn't like a deal. Oh, yeah, I kind yeah, of yeah. thought that they were going to be around a bit more. Yeah, it was yeah. a bit disappointing. Yeah, especially um, how they announced it and everything, and it was like. Yeah, it was a bit sort of like, oh, they're all they're all already dead. All yeah. right, never mind. To and be I felt fair, like, as, as long as we have Ben, I don't care. <laughs> true, I, but I felt like they, I, I also don't think that they were quite as deft, uh, as deft with the construction of this Ben as they have been with previous Ben. Yeah. I feel like th th he's so much, again, it's the thing, he's so much of an asshole that when everybody's like, I bet there's a soft center to you, Ben, it's a bit sort of like, okay, but we could we could see it a little bit more in, in Ben. Because he's so much of a dick all the I, time. I didn't mind Until that. you really get to the wedding. Until he, yeah. he starts in. Um, honestly, it did break my heart when they were like, some people are not invited. And he's like, oh. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, no. Was like, <laughs> Poor Ben. Don't Poor this. Ben. Um, Poor but again, this is sort of the beginning of this version of Ben that we've yeah. seen. So I'm hoping that we get more of a development as things go on. I love the... Um, trajectory that Justin H. Min has been able to go on from like minor character in season one to brought up to regular series regular in season two because he's dies like... comes back alive and now potentially there's two of them yeah apparently Steve Blackman said that that's Sparrow Ben but I don't believe him <laughs> and he's great so I'm not surprised like yeah you know, I mean I'm he's so amazing happy. I do love Justin H. Min <laughs> I'm, I'm so happy his Twitter is very funny as well I recommend. yes yes it's very good <laughs> Uh, but yeah that's kind of i think that's kind of it on the level of this like uh, yeah i the think major problems yeah. yeah the major problems i i i think uh, my hope is that we'll have an actual se scene in a season four potentially where luther actually does call out allison on her fucking behavior with him because that that because that um uh, apology in in episode nine isn't real it's not no. a real apology no uh, <laughs> And also, the, okay, I have I have two more things. Uh, <laughs> the way that uh, Victor uh, completely ignored the fact that Harlan is dead, like you know, yeah, it the was killing like, of Harlan you, also you wasn't. Killed Harlan. It's like you're horrible. <laughs> okay, I'm fine now, and I'm like, mm, I don't know, <laughs> like fine. I feel like it's more <laughs> other things took priority. It's kind of like, well, like I come think, on. I think it came from that speech. The 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 sparrow ben gave him where it's sort of like you kind of have to stop waiting for people to chase after you and check on you and make sure you're okay and just get involved with like making sure things are better but i think like they they stopped so much into that latter part of the season that it, where it became a bit like certain things just got dropped yeah that's what i say this this show's messy i don't know it is but uh, uh, what annoys me that it it could be like it should be, be better this messy like mm -hmm. you know, uh, it's especially I I told you this that I already with season two I was like if if the world gets destroyed again and that's the stake at the end I'm getting tired of it and it basically this was the uh, uh, the main thing in season three as well so I'm just saying if season we, four we is gonna be the same I'm gonna be like fuck like come on guys <laughs> I mean, I feel like season four is like we've got a stable world. But I feel like we're more likely to see them, like really intentionally causing it in order to, like, reset things again. I feel like that's the likelihood of, of it. Because I mean, it's it's also it's a thing in the comics as well. The world gets the timeline gets rewritten. Shit happens. It's very sort of disjointed uh, in the comic where where just like things exist and then they don't exist anymore and and then they exist again quite often. Yeah. Um, I kind of like we all got a little bit like that in season two when the season two trailer came out. I was like, what? What do you mean the world's ending again? That's like you've done this already. So the, by the time the season three came around and they were like, the world is ending again, we kind of went, all right, <laughs> this is just a joke at this point. Yeah, it's it's getting a bit tiring. I'm not gonna lie. Like for me, I'm, I don't I'm, like. I'm, I'm more entertained by it at this point. <laughs> I'm just sort of like, fine, <laughs> let's see how they end the one. <laughs> I don't know. It's it's getting a bit like. I feel it like they fun. probably are on the same way let's, thing to be honest. Let's do something else, please. <laughs> like, you know, I I I wanna see uh, the kids 
properly clash with dad's daddy hargreaves well that's what i want for season four yes. i want an actual and i want to see his, fight his alien form properly because it it interests me a lot mm, like i really like cool. i really like the small snippet we got in season two i uh, would yeah i'd really like to see what I'd, I'd like to know everything about reginald actually i'd, yeah. I'd like for season four to be uh, every, the original being the actual main antagonist because yeah, that's yeah, what yeah. I've wanted for ages but yeah, like I yeah. really want that specifically yeah. for season four especially as I think a season four might be a good place to end it Fair. Fair. I think it, I think that we're, we're getting, getting to a point where it's like it's I don't think it tired. has that much left in it yeah and I'm okay with that yeah. I think that that's, just, that's not, a, not, not a bad thing I think yeah. I think a season four would be a perfect place to bring everybody to a point where they could end the show yeah, 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 definitely. Uh, I love, I love. Uh, I didn't check his name. I'm so sorry, but I love uh, who plays Cole? Reginald. Um, he's in Colm something. I can't remember his last name. Yeah, I'm bad with names. Colm. Uh, <laughs> but uh, uh horrible... yeah, so let's get into the stuff we actually like now. Because horrible, uh, yes. horrible dad, horrible. But uh, I just, I just. Love he's everything. such a great foil for he all is. of them. He's so he's. They, and I think they do a really good job of Everett really showing the way that he's fucked them all up yeah, massively. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. That, that, like that's that's easily one of the best arcs that follows the story. Uh, for me, uh, the best thing that consistently is just the best thing is Five and Klaus. Yeah. So actually, so I've never been the biggest Five fan. I like Five, but like he's never been like at the top of my list in terms of of. Like, as we all know, I love all my children equally, but he's never. <laughs> top of my list in terms of like favorite characters really um but i adored him this season i really think that they brought out the version of five that i have been wanting to see since like i kind of met him yeah uh, it, this is really is the best version of five i feel like because we got to see him sloppy and a bit more funny and a bit more relaxed yeah um he just wants a vacation <laughs> Let the man he's, tired. he's tired and he was singing and that was wonderful yeah this is was... this whole episode barring Allison is, I think, my favorite thing in the entire show. The I wedding. think, to be honest, the, the whole wedding, oh, yeah, the yeah, bachelor yeah. party, all of it was just so joyful. Yeah. Um, and just, and I like the fact that it was incredibly character led. The fact that they're like, well, the world's ending. Let's slow everything down. Yeah. I think it maybe makes the latitude episodes suffer in terms of plot because they do go, it, it is absolutely batshit when yeah, uh, yeah, it gets yeah. to the end, but I also love the fact that this show is absolutely batshit. Mm. Um, one of my favourite things, like, I remember watching the first season and getting to the last episode and seeing uh, Victor blow up the moon bouncing out of my chair and just being like, holy fuck, they actually blow up the fucking moon. Yeah. <laughs> and that's my favourite thing about yeah, this yeah, whole yeah. show, it's the fact that I get those like, actually, I get, I get really joyful and uh, giddy with how just fucking out there they go with, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. with some no, of the bits yeah. and plots so i like that they also took the time to because i it's also it's a very character driven show it is um it's it's and they're all so delightful and i love the interplay that happens between them when they're being um you know themselves yeah <laughs> i've i've screenshotted a couple of things that i will i want to um talk about uh, just in terms of things that are fun um uh yeah klaus has always been the thing that I loved from the moment I started the show, um, just outside. I mean, I already love Robert Sheehan, just generally, obviously, because I loved we we both. I love Misfits. You love yeah, Misfits. I love Misfits. Um, I I think he's done an incredible job of, of considering how many similarities there are between him and Nathan, oh uh, between Klaus and Nathan. <laughs> so but I think he's done. I think he's done a magnificent job oh, of yeah. separating them. Nathan is an asshole. <laughs> yeah, Nathan. That's pretty. Much, that's the big one. Nathan's a dick. Klaus is incredibly sweet and empathetic, and I love the fact that they've continued with Klaus's like just massive empathy. It's yeah. one of my favorite things about him. He's so utterly empathetic to everybody around him, and is constantly there's there's this heartbreaking gift set comparing um him um comforting luther when they find allison with her throat cut in season one him comforting sloan after she's like sobbing over luther because he's the one that like literally is in front of them just looking so like i get it but we need to like that this is you know that kind of thing just being comforting in that mm. kind of moment i th just love that about him murder bus ball was the funniest goddamn thing i've ever seen in my life fair that's I fair it shouldn't have been that funny, but I was losing my mind about it. 
That's fair. Boy, oh my god. Did nobody stop? <laughs> he got hit by so many cars. It's so funny. It's so good. It's just oh, like oh. it was like uh, uh, seeing uh, Tom Cruise die a million times <laughs> in Edge of Tomorrow. I was like, yes, <laughs> poor guy. Uh, but uh, really love that scene. My favorite scene in the whole season is the Footloose. Uh, oh, it's just so good. It's just. It's become like a TikTok trend now, hasn't it? People yeah, yeah, have been yeah, learning yeah. the dance. Yeah. I've, I've been seeing it on Instagram. Um, if I uh, knew how to learn choreography, I'd yeah, absolutely do that. I would do it as well, but I'm <laughs> somebody so would have to bad. go through it very slowly. For yeah, me, so no. I can be like, right, because <laughs> I don't understand how people learn that shit from just looking at the no. the episode. I was like, how how did you get this so spot on? Like, you can't even see the feet through half of it. Yeah, yeah, it's so like you know. I wish I would be good at dancing, but I don't have the confidence level for that. So I'm like, nope. <laughs> I feel like if somebody showed me how to da- like do a dance, I could do a dance just fine but like somebody would have to teach me how to do it properly i tried i can't <laughs> but it but is it is a delight i love so that good. scene so much i love the fact that really the only thing it does is show what jamie's power is yeah, and yeah, it yeah. really it didn't need to be that much like that gets demonstrated perfectly like like clearly when she does it to five later yeah, 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 yeah. so there's like absolutely really no reason for it other than just joy <laughs> I, I just needed it in my life. I loved it. It's so good. It's so good. So good. Very very well done. Like, that was easily my favorite moment. And it happened it's, right in the first It happened episode, right in the so beginning. Like, and it's like, great. Great. That's just a great start. So yeah, that's, that's definitely. Anytime that they can get everybody dancing, it's like perfect. I love the fact that that's just a part of this show. It's just that everybody dances. Yeah. yeah like yeah, they yeah. did that in the, in the first season. And they just sort of went, yeah, all right. We'll just keep doing this now. Um, Fair. I, uh. I really, I did actually really like the Diego Lila storyline. I felt like maybe it was a bit like suddenly introduced, but I like the fact that we have Diego um, confronting his father issues by having to become a father. Mm. Um, I think it's messy, uh, but I think they're messy. And I think that makes sense for them. Um, I, I like Lila, so it's like, I think Don't. that, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> tell from your face but i i just think that that's nice i feel like what happened to stan like i felt like, like that was just upsetting for stan <laughs> for stan and that's that you know that's one of my problems with this show that they just don't stop and and you know nobody really like mourns they, anybody no, no that's kind of one of the issues that's what i'm talking about with klaus yeah when, when I'm, I'm talking yeah, about yeah, yeah, i'm no, looking no, for like a, an element yeah. of like yeah especially because has the ability to summon the dead yeah and they don't do enough do with that. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's it's a bit it's a bit annoying. I'm not gonna lie. It's like, okay, I guess we're just moving past that. <laughs> but yeah, but I think I like I think Diego's a lot of fun this season. I like the Diego's fact that he cool. he he is stem. So you know, yeah. I love. Um, also, I did actually. Um, even though we have our issues with with just how far they took Allison this season, I did love the fact that he was like. You know what will make you feel better? Let's go beat up a bunch of white supremacists. I'm like, yeah, you know what? Great stuff. That's really that was good, good stuff. Well done. Well done. I was like, <laughs> I love the fact that Diego thinks this is going to help. I mean, yeah. in many ways, it probably did, but it probably didn't help in the long run. <laughs> He's like, me. she's all good now. And it's like, no, she's not. <laughs> a little therapy. <laughs> <laughs> they all need therapy. Let's oh, yeah. Yeah. Since season one, it's like, they all need therapy. Um, I love how they handled Victor's um Oh, it's out. beautiful. I was worried that it was going to be a bit hand wavy at first when they when they had him come in and just be like I'm Victor and they all went yeah I guess that's fine because I thought that that was where they were they were going to leave it but they didn't. I think they everything they did I mean I love that scene. It was very sweet but it did feel a little bit like oh we've just put this out and now we don't need to talk about it anymore. But I'm glad that they actually didn't make it like that. I love the fact that people because not everybody found out in that moment so they had more conversation. Yeah yeah yeah. I actually love the the scene with Allison and Victor where where the two of them have that discussion outside of everything else is very sweet and wonderful, um, yeah. and it like it is it's a beautiful theme and I love it. Um, if you listen, I think Elliot Page went on uh, Seth Meyers to yeah, talk about the fact I that I just watched it. Yeah, it was a wonderful interview. I would recommend we'll stick it in the description. I think because it's a great because um, he talks about the fact that they go they that Steve Blackman reached out to a. Um, uh, a, a trans writer to be able to kind of craft this story uh, for him this season, mm. and I think it 
I think it shows. I think yeah, the fact yeah. that I think the whole thing shows. I think possibly one of my favorite moments of all time in this show is um, Luther finding out about Victor and going, well, we need to throw a party. <laughs> <laughs> and only for Diego to go, uh, Luther wants to throw a big stupid party so you feel loved. Do you feel loved? Good. You are. Yeah. And I'm like, that's just it's so much character development in like a tiny scene. Perfect. Loved it. Beautiful. And I think you and I is, we talked about this as well. Um, just my heart when Luther uh, asked him to be his best man. Yeah. That was so nice. So delightful and wonderful. Yeah. Like th- those are the moments in the show that I love. Yeah. 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 Yeah, no, no, so no. Much. It's, it's it's like I, I'm not saying it's a bad show because it's not. Oh no, 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 not at all. At I just all. I'm <laughs> putting that forward. Just it, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. I don't know. I feel like I'm like having to defend myself for loving this show so much, but it's like no. the, those are the things that I love. Yeah, yeah and yeah. I think and like I have issues with you know, and as we have I think gone over ad nauseum at this point, I have issues with with certain parts of it, but um, I don't think those issues do not erase the things that I love about it. And I think that they, like I said, they have, have the absolute potential to make things better in a in a in a, um, in a subsequent season. Um, All right, let's see it. Yeah, let's, Shall I, can uh, I just go over one yes. like tiny, very yes. very quickly? These posts, just stupid sibling moments. I'm get, not going to mention a couple of them because some of them aren't um, aren't funny. So I'm just going to keep going with the funny ones. Um, so the revelation that Luther was scammed by a Nigerian prince, <laughs> sorry, Nigerian king. Excellent piece of dialogue. Um, Diego's dead tie between large hard on collider and not knowing what an octogenarian is. <laughs> hard on collider really cracked me up. <laughs> um, and then there was drunk five uh, running down the hall holding um, mannequin. Oh, yeah, yeah. Perfect. Loved it. Um, uh, Victor leading with lobsters and cows going missing, but not the people when explaining what was going on with the Kugel blokes. Yeah. That's a great little moment. Uh, little bits of stuff that we know about the childhood that I think is... Um, it, I've taken the, both of these from Tumblr, so uh, mm. thank you to um, Lazy Wolf Eyes and uh, Oscar Wing. <clears throat> uh, Victor used to cry when people stepped on ants. Uh, there was the bit in season one where we find out that Diego told Carl to, to uh, like a battery because he said it would make him grow pu- pubes. These are the, just the little details about them as like children growing up that I, I think are delightful. Mm. Um, Lucy used to marry Victor's action because that's just... Please, that's so cute. Apparently, Alison canonically rumoured her way onto a soccer club. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, and Lucy wanted to go to summer camp, but he uh, could never go because of um, Reggie. Uh Carl broke his jaw when he was uh, jaw when he was twelve years old, falling down the stairs trying to walk in Grace's shoes. Yeah, that and and Diego and Klaus used to half paint in the basement. Just just the little details; they're my favorites. Yeah, enjoy the little right. things. So um, overall, I'd say seven and a half out of ten for this season. I'd say I'm gonna be a bit harsher. I I will say six. Oof. Six. I'm, yeah, I'm, I didn't, lie, I didn't. I'm I'm too I'm like I was gonna say seven and I was like no <laughs> <laughs> I like I felt too bad about doing it. I'm sorry. I, I, the previous to you amazing uh this one is is a six. I, I was it is it is I there are there's there are major step downs in this season yeah. uh, but um yeah uh, nothing. still a good show. Still great show. But uh, and I will watch more yeah, happily. yeah 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 but they, they have to change a lot of things. Uh for me to be like okay. i think i do because i feel like changing things without uh recourses where people get annoyed about certain things so i will say resolve certain yes. things resolve let's let's use that yeah, let's that's, use i think it's a good one yeah. right moving let's on jump. let's jump ship <laughs> there you oh, go shit. oh my I boy i should have flipped it well i mean that, that way then we can no, see that, him a bit no, better no, to no, be no, let's keep it that boy. way we, we need that i feel bad about covering up robin um but Sorry, robin. Yeah, we know you're there. i love you so much robin i love you so much yes <laughs> <laughs> right stranger things volume two because that happened this week oh god more issues <laughs> <laughs> Look, I said it once, I said it a million times. Marvel is costing me money at therapy sessions. Now it's Stranger Things turns. <laughs> and 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 I am I am heartbroken. I'm not gonna lie. Like I, I, I am completely heartbroken. I cried my eyes out. 
not a surprise. Obviously, mm. we're talking spoilers, so yes, major spoilers. We didn't even talk about actually the ending of of, of the Umbrella Academy properly. It, it's fine. Nobody it's fine. They they kind of watched the show. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, they killed my boy. They did, and I am incredibly upset with that decision. I the, 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 yeah, I'm not. I the more I think about it, the more the less surprised I am that they've done it. Um. Like the more I've sat with it, I'm like, yeah, this. I'm not surprised that that, that, that they've done this. But um, that's, yeah, that's the thing that I'm not surprised either because I think I'm gonna be harsh now again. I think they bailed out on a on a big chance uh, to redeem Eddie's character because I just read an interview with with Joseph, and uh, he he talks about uh, the fact that. Uh, Eddie has such a great arc because uh, he he went from this uh, uh, being uh, disappointed in himself for running away and not being able to have Chrissy to to stay behind and and protect Dustin and da 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 and I'm like yeah but you know like the bigger thing that should have happened is like you know I I feel like that the writers didn't know how to solve uh, his whole he's the murderer everyone hates him thing yeah, and no, they that, just that, like that seems you're dead bitch. <laughs> I'm like I also I don't I don't you. agree with the term redeem because I don't think that Eddie needed a redemption is the thing. I don't think he did anything wrong enough. He needed the redemption need in the in the what is it called uh, uh in the in the town's eyes like you know. But like, like I I don't, yeah, I don't he's not the I, killer. We know that. The town people. Yeah, I it, it, it bugs me the way that people talk about it in terms of like an actual redemption arc because I'm like that's no, not no, a redemption no, no. arc because no. Eddie was never a bad person. No, no. Um, I my hope is again, and I know you you mentioned earlier that you don't like the fact that they do this, but I think it's one of the 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 positive things about television is that you can go in and kind of resolve things better in later seasons. Um, I feel like. They weren't expecting people to love Eddie this much. Yeah. Um, they clearly, because otherwise they would have kept him around. Um, I feel like it's, it's the thing. I don't think any they were expecting the the actual like just love that that, that Eddie they got when when they uh, released um, Volume One. Um, and I because they I saw a thing where they were like bracing themselves for the reaction to to Volume Two because it's kind of like I yeah they were they were not prepared for the way that people latched onto Eddie. Um, and they were right to not be prepared because <laughs> it's it's a uh, look. He's he's easily like one of the best characters that the show uh, offered so far. Uh, like you know, I love Steve. I love I love the kids. I uh, you know everyone is great on their own. But Eddie came in in season four and he fucking stole every scene he was in. Like. Yeah. <laughs> like single one it, it does <laughs> it speaks to an issue that the Duffer brothers have in that they they introduce characters just to kill them off yeah they did it with bob they, they, they did, did it, it with, with uh, um fuck 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 uh... <laughs> I, don't, I don't know who you're referring to so it's very hard for me to just start guessing people <laughs> <laughs> season three uh <laughs> fuck what was really? his name uh the only person I can think of is Billy, who, who no, died. Not Billy. Like... not Billy. Oh, Alexi. Alexi. There you go. Yes. I was thinking yeah, no, Yuri, I, but yeah. Yuri is in this season. Yuri's in this like, season. Alexi. Um, yeah, no, Alexi agree. It, it, they, it's it's clearly a thing that they think is like a good uh, writing. It's not. And it's like, it's, it's in some places, they, there are, it's, 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 I understand characters are tools before a narrative. That is, that is fair. But and it, the idea is that you're meant to round out a character so that they fit a narrative and all that sort of stuff. But using it this often is where you start to get issues. You, you know what it feels like? It feels like that they bring in these characters because they are chickens to kill the main characters. Well, there's that as well. That has been a. a, a I'm a, sorry, um, but that's the a truth. Continuous. They... That's one I've seen quite a lot recently. Yeah, like uh, you know, one always. It's it's gonna sound bad. I don't mean it in a bad way. But what always annoyed me with Stranger Things is that it it's clearly a horror uh, mm. uh, based uh, series. Right. And in horror, nobody people, has plot armor. Yes, and they do. Like even there is, I'm yeah, gonna there be is... mean. I'm gonna be mean. I'm so sorry. Will should have died in season one. Mm. 
Like, you know, yeah, take, I, think, then... it, I, I think I would agree if Stranger Things had ended up being a one season show. Yes. Yeah, obviously. Now we know what, you know, what they were planned out, uh, planning out and everything. Yeah. Sure. If, if it had been a one season show, like one and done. Yeah, I absolutely agree. I feel like that that would have been a more that that would have been the harder and I don't want to say more interesting, but like more narratively poignant. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, character choice. Which um, is horrible because obviously, but then you can feel that okay, this series had stakes in in here. Like you know, we 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 have to worry about these characters. Yeah, they are not it, protected by. Do you know what? It's very <laughs> funny as well. The moment the I think last episode started, um, it it was yeah. The moment the last episode started, I stopped being worried about Steve. I found it. I found it very very obvious Same. that they yeah, they they're not gonna, gonna they're not gonna kill him. Yeah. Um. I feel like he's not what he's not protected in season five, but like season five will be the end of the show as well. So I'm not. I wouldn't be surprised if they killed him at that point. And I I said this before. Um. And I do actually. And I, at this point, I'm like that actually would be a like good narrative decision because you've built it up enough that it's like you could very easily kill steve in season five and have it be narratively poignant yeah um and, and i wouldn't be mad about it either i mean i'd be very very sad but yeah, like yeah, i wouldn't yeah, yeah. be mad about it i would have been very i it was at this point i would I actually feel like i would have been about, like oh, at least you had the balls if they'd done it this season um that's, alas yeah <laughs> that's that's my my only issue and and that has always been my only issue with stranger things if i'm honest like yeah. you know i i uh i love the horror elements i think they are great i think they they have a nice way of working them in in the show itself and it's a slow burner and 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 it's 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 always done really well but at the same time i you know sure i i am worried about the characters that we grew to love but i'm always like they're gonna survive yeah they, they're gonna survive i, I, I almost like, want to be like if you're going to give your characters plot armor, and I think that that's a very that's it, this is a thing in D and D as well, because your I mean, death is always a, a thing that you know characters that have to be afraid of in in a show like this. But if you're going to give your characters plot armor, give me a reason to be worried about them outside of that, then, because it's like if you're going to if they're not going to die, I need to be worried about them in a different sense. Like how are they going to be broken by this experience? Etc. Cetera, Etc. Cetera. Yeah, and I don't. I feel like they're getting to that point with a lot of them now, um, specifically Max uh, at this point, and and Lucas's relationship to Max. I feel yeah, like that yeah, is yeah, a yeah. sense of like he has been through the trenches at this point and 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 lost a lot. Yeah, and that that is a reason for me to be worried about this character and how this is going to affect him. Yeah, but it is still like I I don't I'm not worried about the mental state of these characters. Um enough yep. like i it, like if you're if that like, like i said if you're gonna give them plot armor you need to give me a reason to be worried about them in other ways yeah 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 yeah, yeah. i i i i agree 100 percent agree because uh you know i i told you this uh i hated the fact uh that the only one who mourned eddie was dustin uh i i would have just appreciate just a small scene just you know don't cut off mm. from the upside down uh immediately after al uh brings back max or saves max uh just you know show a scene where uh steve robin and, and nancy find dustin holding eddie yeah and just, it would have been like even just like a like a shot would have been shot. like nice to yeah. just have them be like oh like oh, uh, kind fuck. of like yeah. oh we, we, that, that has a thing that happened i'm not I, I can see in terms of like again it's, it's that sort of like i can kind of see why they put it this way i don't necessarily agree with it but i do kind of see what they're going with it because the only other i mean Everybody likes Eddie, but the Dustin was the closest person to him Obviously, with yeah. history in that yeah. space at that time. Yeah. Like the only other person who would have had history with him is Mike, and Mike wasn't there. Yeah. So it's like, um, although it would have been nice to have like a they barely interacted with each other. That was kind of the other thing. Um, Mike and, and Dustin, they just kind of show, look, they're back, and then they kind of cut away. Yeah. And it's like, oh, yeah. we, we that would have been like a good place to have that first sense of like, by the way, Eddie's dead. Yeah. Um to my but like it doesn't surprise me that nobody else is really as affected by it as dustin is um and i think that the idea in giving dustin that moment is to be the emotional center point of that death for the the audience um so in terms of like technically speaking in terms of like narrative building speaking i i see what they were going for 
it it didn't work like it's not it's it's not satisfying for us as an audience no like enough because no. it just reads like nobody else gave a shit apart from dustin which isn't true we, we i don't think that's true at all um, yeah that's that's what annoys me because i think steve cared like you know they they had a great chemistry I, they it's i, I wanted more yeah, bromance between steve and eddie like, a lot of people really wanted a romance <laughs> that, that, that one as well i mean the scene that is behind you that that face don't you baby boy what? and i'm like ah! big boy was his line he he put that he, in he put that in i know i'm like i love joseph so much i honestly can't wait to meet him this week um uh, uh, yeah so it's yeah they, 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 there are issues with the way they've built this up. There's, and the other really big issue that I've been seeing, one that I don't agree with and one that I absolutely do agree with, um, people have had major issues with the scene with Will uh, in the car with Mike. <laughs> because it is like, he, the, A, on the one hand, you've got Mike, my God, how stupid can you be? Yes. And also on the other hand, you've literally got what you are making out in terms in like the broadest terms you at this point they are getting very close to actually quit they are, they are queer baiting at this point like they have to like i know that that is what they're going for like it's it's blatantly obvious so that they if they it just it suddenly like take a right turn in season five and say it's actually something entirely different i will be understandable it, it, like i will be with pitchforks in terms of like you've been your assholes um but like you we are get using back to this. Let's finish it. You are you. We are using a. You are using a queer character, and putting his feelings for another boy in terms of like heterosexual love, and the fact that Mike in that speech, which made me cry, I did love it, made out like his life began after his best friend. Like, there's a lot of things in there that are, are really fucked up. <laughs> And not fair to Will. And Noah's been acting the shit out of it. He's doing an incredible job, but they they have to resolve this in in season five. And and I I think they have every right plan to, which is part of the reason that I was talking to you the other day about um, narrative literacy because people were making out like this is a this is the end of it. Uh, the like they aren't going to go any further with this. And it's a fear I understand because I've seen it happen multiple times in multiple shows, but like. I, I maybe I'm, I'm maybe I'm the one being idealistic, but I'm like they can't be that stupid as to like not <laughs> like they're clearly building it up into something. Um, my hope is that they actually turn it into something nice as opposed to uh, pain because queer pain is boring and we're done with it now. <laughs> um, okay, F first off, I laughed because I just sent you a meme about this. <laughs> yeah, I know you did, and I was like, for fuck's sake. <laughs> It's so good. I'm so sorry, but it is poor, poor Noah. He's getting the first haircut, and it's they made it into a joke. I'm. So, I love that scene. That was the first time I cried. Uh, on, on volume two. Uh, it's, it's beautiful. It's, it, it's beautiful. So it was very beautifully done. It's just so mean for the character. It's I, so. I, it's so. And, and I've seen. It's just the fact that I've seen so many, like LGBTQ fans, be like, "This hurt to see." Like it actively hurt me as a queer person to see m this pain put into this character and there'd be absolutely no release for it. Uh, especially as it hasn't even been said out loud yet. Here's the thing, and that's my other thing. And I feel like people keep forgetting about this because don't get me wrong, I am an ally and everything. It's not queer baiting, it's the 80s. People weren't talking about loud no, that no, they no, are I gay understand or entirely. lesbian or it's, whatever. It, it, you, but the queer baiting comes from the fact that um, it, it, it's it's the potential that the queer baiting specifically, in terms of like definition, is about leaving breadcrumbs that a character is going to be really revealed as queer without really any intention to follow up on that fact. Or like the they sort of follow up. I that's I believe they're going to follow up on it, but it also it's like it clearly came from a place of people like I don't think that that was an idea that they had in season one. Considering the fact that Maya Hawke was the one who was like, I think Robin should be a lesbian. That's, um, <laughs> that's not true. That's not true. Will uh, was clearly it was clearly hinted that. But that's the thing. I think because it's like I I've like I've said I've seen multiple times. Uh, in, in, in various different shows the most transparent thing to an audience 
can be the biggest blind spot to uh, a writing team. As even And sometimes they have a habit of being like, okay, well, people seem to like this, so we'll play into it more without really thinking about the repercussions of just sort of playing with it as opposed to really seriously be deciding to be like, we are going to do something with this. Because at the moment, even the, the only people who have actually been kind of like majorly teasing it are the cast. The, the, the Duffers have been very vague about what their plans are. Um, and that comes with a lot of distrust for a lot of queer um, uh, viewers and understandable distrust. I mean, I was one of the many people who watched uh, Sherlock. I mean, I wasn't like a John Locke shipper, but that shit was queer baited to hell. Like it is the most obvious thing in the world that they were like, hey, this is a funny joke that we can play with for a bit. It's not the same thing. I'm not like saying it's the exact same thing, but like the audiences are done with being played, the emotions being toyed with, essentially is what I'm saying. Yeah. So, and I'm, I'm, this is why I'm holding back uh, any kind of like actual, what's the word? Like, like feelings about how they've handled Will until we see a season five. Um, the, that, and the, like, like I said, we are in the, the, especially with this season four, we are in the middle of an arc. This is the yeah. middle of like, yes. And I, we then, in the that's middle of we, a long arc. That, that's what we also talked about, that, you know, people are jumping into conclusions without seeing the actual thing. And I'm like, I, I when I see this, I, otherwise, in other media, I agree a lot of times that they are queer baiting. It's, once again, for me, this is the 80s. Mm, Done. Yeah, I, Done. I, I it's the 80s. Either. They're not going to be like, hey, I'm gay cool bro like it's said, there are some, some, <laughs> pe some people in the 80s were very much like that um there are there, it, very I, few but like it, there are people in, in the in, yeah I'm looking at at the moment i just yeah i i just it, it it i can see why people are getting frustrated is all i'm saying but i'm also like just hold on until exactly. we see everything yeah and then i will be happy if if they really don't if they really play this off badly I will be happy to let you loose. <laughs> yeah, that's be you free, know that's fine. Be free and angry. <laughs> of of course, I, I, in that case, I will be the same. I will be like, okay, your anger is completely fair, but at the same time, I I feel like this needs to be a constant reminder that uh, that it was different. We're not we're not us, but also we're not done yet. That's all I want to say. And and we're not done yet, but it was it was also we are in the eighties. It was completely different. Uh, how people came out, how how mm. it happened, uh, blah blah blah. And basically, it already happened once. Robin already confessed yeah. that you know, and it was a beautiful scene. It was beautiful. But uh, let's just put it this way: the way Steve reacted is, is is something that would be very different for different characters in the show. Like you know, it, it's part of the reason why they yeah they he's they've been very very. Um clearly very careful with him not saying anything, yeah. which I've appreciated about it. But that comes to the other thing that people have been annoyed about is that making uh, this like sort of forcing Robert to watch her, her crush kiss another man. And it's sort of like, I get, I get it. I get, I understand what you're going for here. I understand the, the, the irritation or the anger though. But at the same time, I don't think it's the same thing. Um, because I, because I feel like, I think Robin's like unsure nature to it, this whole thing is is very valid plus i i would i would agree if it weren't for that scene in, in the very last part of the episode where vicky comes over and clearly likes her yeah like yeah, that's yeah. like it clearly is into her yeah um uh because vicky's clearly bi but obviously they're not going to use that word <laughs> yeah it's you know it's um different times people different times which is yeah completely I don't fine think, <laughs> yeah i don't in a narrative uh, point of view, like, you know. Yeah, I, I still like, they probably, I don't think they've been doing it the best, but I think that they have been doing it. I yeah. think that's that's what I'll put it. It's like, I, I feel like it, in any way, shape or form, they absolutely could be doing this better, um, how they're handling uh, Will's sexuality. But I do still think they are doing it. They are. I, I think so too. But again, we will see. We will see. That we will is see. the big thing. That's I'm like, the big we thing. we'll see. Yeah. Um, yeah. I don't think uh, that, but but I will say this, and if I am wrong, uh, in two years you can kill me or whatever. Uh, I don't think they are queer baiting. I don't think it's. I it's don't their think style. they are either. <laughs> so um, I, I don't. I don't think they. Are. I don't. I. I think the big thing is like I don't think they're intentionally queer baiting. I don't think this is a Moffat Gate no. Moffat Gator situation where they're just sort of like, hey, this is a funny joke that we can poke at our audience. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
<laughs> or like in any other show that I've seen um, that, that has had a big fandom like that, that has had a couple of characters that have been men that people have shipped. Um, yeah. I feel like people would have called this queer baiting if it went on any longer. Um, it, 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 gang, I need you to stop reading into this. Yeah. Please. please, I love, I love you, and and I get it's it. It's like, like I it's, under get it. It's fun to ship things. I but, get it, and it's like, and uh, and most people, most people are, you know, thinking people. Um, but there is always that subsection of fandom that gets genuinely so mad just, that yeah. their ship didn't become canon. Yeah, uh, because of something that they very heavily. Uh, projected into the show and to and it's like to those people i'm like i beg of you to go just like take a step back from the thing yeah. that you, that you're watching yeah. because it's not healthy for you um, it, it, yeah you're, you're you're ruining your own experience basically and uh, also if you're getting that upset about a show and i understand because they, we've we made this this is a whole podcast about us talking about tv and film i love television desperately yeah i love stories so much that they are the thing that like feed my soul but if a show is making you so mad that you're like like genuinely like bone rage angry you need to take a step away because it's not it's not good it's not good it's, not it's good. really not it's not worth you putting that kind of emotion into it. it's not worth it it never is no no uh, it's not real it's not it's not it can you know all the feelings are valid you can be upset about things and whatnot, but just don't, just try to contain. For your, for, no, <laughs> just, but like even just for your own sanity. Just, yeah, exactly. Take a step away. Like, yes. Uh, to be fair, you know, I completely understand everyone because I literally, I, this never, ever happened to me. And I'm a crier. You know this. Uh, people who listen to us know this. I cry on everything. That I'm that kind of person. Mm. But when Eddie died... I nearly threw up. I was crying so hard. I'm not gonna lie. Like I, I just love this boy so much that I was, I was like, nope, I can't. And I, I felt like, oh, I'm gonna throw up. I can't do this. And then they showed Max, who's my other favorite character. So th this is what <laughs> I wanted to get into because I, I was upset with Eddie's death and I cried at Eddie's death, obviously. Yeah. Max's, Max's stuff and and oh my god, just Lucas screaming oh, for no. Erica to go get help. I like I was hyperventilating, Same. like kind of sobbing because I was Same. like, "You can't want to punch me like this." Yeah, um, I was very, very relieved when Elle managed to like vaguely bring her back, at yeah. least breathing, because I'm like, "Okay," because <laughs> I, 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 I do actually think that would have been a step too far at that point. Physi I was physically sick, <laughs> uh, like, like especially so close to each other. I was like, uh -huh. No, no. Yeah, no. It would have. I, no. it, I was just it, like it was. I fully sobbing. Yeah. Um. It was not okay. No. Nope. Um. And then I started crying again with the scene with Dustin and and, oh and his God. uncle and like that really that also that that did get to me beautiful, as well. Beautiful done by Gaten. Yes, like, incredible. Incredible. Well, actually, again, performances in this season were amazing. Oh. Yep. Everybody was amazing. Um. I have one complaint. Oh no. We needed more Erica. That's so true. We always need more Erica. Like, I was a bit upset that she wasn't in it more. I love Erica with all my heart and I need her more in season five, please. Thank you. <laughs> I, I feel like they've, they've, they've built up so much more of her character that week. And she's been like in so much of the press. Um, yeah. That she's like, she she is a mate. She's a big part of this sort of thing love, now. Love, love, love Erica so Prior, much. Amazing. Prior, amazing. Love you. Yes. Um, yeah, so I, I feel like I I'll, overall... Because I feel like we're getting close to you having to, to yes, dip out. Yes, really, really um, feel a bit. Okay. Um, I really liked Volume 2. I do think... I don't know if it was as strong as Volume 1. I feel like... I, I feel like it's it's very hard to, to kind of separate them as two little things because they are still part of the same season. Um, but I... I maybe, maybe it's just because... There's, there's something about resolutions that don't always hit in the same way. And I think because endings are difficult... And that last episode was so strangely put together because it felt like it ended and then something went on for another 40 minutes. Um, I think the problem that uh, Volume 2 suffered uh, was the fact that uh, before 
it, it, it aired, uh, there were a lot of like, there's going to be a massacre. Yes, there's, people will die. There will be five main characters dead. And everyone was like, Jesus Christ, what's going to happen? Like, I was like, yeah, that. you got to stop. Then, I, I, I wish they stopped doing that. I wish, as, yes. Like, just the thing. Just, it's just like, you don't do stop. it. <laughs> just stop. Like, uh, you know, they were stop if, giving people expectations. Yeah, just if, go, I'm not going to say anything. You just, we'll see what happens. Yeah. Exactly. Like, if you went on TikTok, like, people were, like, guessing who's going to be the five main characters who die, and, and then and then the massacre and everything. I was in the belief, because that was my theory, uh, from based on the trailer only, that they obviously can't kill Vecna, because he's the main, 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 main antagonist of the, of the whole thing. Speaking of, Jamie Campbell Bauer. Fucking awesome. Just amazing. Really. I, I thought that they did something to his voice. That's just his voice. That's his voice, yeah. That's just he did. That's just he just did. He just did that, and he's I'm just like, great. <laughs> he's, he's just because he doesn't great. sound like him, which yeah. is really what's it's fucking me up. Beautiful, beautifully done. <laughs> and uh, once again, I said it at volume one. I say it here. Uh, it's it's his moment now. It's like you know they finally realizing how great he is because he was like always in in like small little parts and whatnot and his oh, bad movies oh bad movies i <laughs> love I city did. of bones as a movie i'm like i'm not even lying i think city of bones is actually a very fun film and i stand by it as just like a fun little thing it's not you know, like you know narrative gold or anything like that but i enjoy it <laughs> it, it we all have that movie <laughs> in our life so i mean because I, I read all the books as well i mean not all the i read it like, too she's but still, she's still she's still releasing yeah. books and i just like, completely fall in behind um and don't really plan on catching up but like it, i i i i liked what he did with jace in that movie and and yeah, yeah, um, yeah. obviously robert was also in that I movie like- which is why i found out about him in the first place it's really okay. fun like there little cyclical thing that we got going on here there you go uh but uh where was i Oh yeah, so so I had this this uh, theory that it's it's gonna be like a massacre in Hawkins, mm. like you know that the Demogorgons are gonna come in to play, and and literally the end is they just open up the portals, and I'm like, Haha, you motherfuckers, <laughs> you motherfuckers! Like I think they were clearly uh, putting in signs that yeah, guys, you are right, that's what's gonna happen, and then nope, <laughs> this is still just, it just it's, yeah, it just <laughs> it yeah it it. It, it was a bit like bathing. Uh, it is, basically. Yeah, that, it's, yeah. it's like, come on in, come on in. And that's and that's why I was, I'm not going to say I was disappointed with volume two because I wasn't. I wasn't um, either. I, I had a lot of fun. I think it's yeah. still fucking fantastic television. Yeah. Oh, obviously. Uh, the, the episode eight Papa is brilliant yeah, it's, it's I, really I, good i really liked uh that rest in peace matthew modane yes you were great an asshole i mean you were the great. worst but so good but so good so good i love the pictures he and millie posted on they're on Instagram. so cute so good I the just two of them are so cute yeah i know it's so i was like oh my heart <laughs> but uh yeah yeah i i wasn't disappointed but at the same time i didn't feel that other than my heart being being broken, mm. obviously, I didn't feel that satisfaction. Yeah, the, the, satisfaction, yeah, and I do, yeah. and I do wonder if that comes from the fact that we're in the middle of an arc at this point. Yeah, probably. but I do feel like they didn't. There were certain things that they, that they were clearly trying to sunset so they could bring into they go forward into season five, and I don't know if they did that um, as effectively as they could have done. I feel like actually just now thinking about it, maybe they could have made those last two episodes three episodes maybe just in t- yeah i don't know i don't know it was an interesting choice it was. to make it two episodes and one of them just be two and a half hours long i didn't um, mind that at all to be fair i didn't mind the, the length of it at all i just w- wonder if in terms of pacing we could have gone to a place um i don't know they could have, we you could have moved things around so you had more space in that last episode to kind of sunset certain things have more characters mourn certain <laughs> moments um i also felt like i i mean i i love everybody and i think everybody's great and everything like that but i do feel like they kind of didn't give steve a whole lot to do oh yeah the the it's just the kind Robin, of a loose steve part. And, and nancy part was like a bit weak if i'm honest it's like yeah they kind of went oh and they've been smacked to a wall anyway we'll just leave them there for a bit yeah somebody was like oh they've been choked for 40 minutes i'm like they haven't they've been choked for like maybe a minute they just left them there yeah in terms of like um you know the cut and and then eventually got back to them when they found like it was um yeah 
Poor, Steve, they want to stop fucking with Steve's neck. Yeah, poor Steve. <laughs> he's, he's, like, he's, he's gonna have no voice in, in season five. He's gonna be like, work guys. about. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> but yeah. Uh, I, yeah, altogether, very good season. I think yeah. if I would have to rank the seasons, it's still season one is the best. That yeah, was like because I, I rewatched season one re- again recently, yeah. and it's really strong. It's very, very strong. It's very emotional in places that yeah. I kind of forgot that about. Oh it, like it, it's when, really when they, like yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. We could talk about it all day, but season yeah, because... one, uh, season four is second place for me. I now. think that would great. Yeah. Uh, then season three, I love season three. I, I think, I, it's think great. I, I think I entirely agree with your ranking. Actually, yeah, I. Yeah. I and then season two. And is, then season two, I think I think I I think I agree. Yeah, I love all of them. But if I have to rank them, this is how mm. it looks like. Uh, I don't think they can ever beat season one. To be fair, no, I think season one such, was such a lightning in a bottle moment, um, and is it, like I said, it's genuinely very emotionally affecting. It the is. moment that they 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 say that they found Will in the water, oh god, I just like, and I, I have seen it before, just Every started time. like fully crying. I yeah. was like, this is really heartbreaking. It is, and and uh, and I I I said this and once. And they they are using Peter Gabriel's heroes, and it it it, it came back at the end of season three when um, Al is reading Hopper's letter, and I was like, <laughs> "Why are you doing this to me?" <laughs> and I just <laughs> full on sobbing. <laughs> the um, the other bit in season one that I actually and I know we just spoke about the fact that actually we feel like it might have been more narratively interesting to kill Will if it had been a one thing. Yeah. But the moment they find Will oh, yeah, is yeah, also yeah. like. Very just gut wrenchingly emotional. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. But um, uh, I love the theory, which is I think now is canon. I think the Doffers confirmed that 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 we are correct that uh, uh we was able to stay alive for so long because of uh, should I stay or should I go now? Because he he was singing it. Uh, oh yeah, every he, time that boy has the most incredible like constitution. Yeah, <laughs> and yeah. and I'm talking about in terms of like emotional constitution. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. He, he had a thing to to hold on to that kept him like it, 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 and i think that they showed that incredibly well um i feel like because how long do you have now it's like pretty much you have to go soon yeah <laughs> okay i, I just want to say that um i think one of the coolest things i've fucking seen in, in my life is hopper with a sword did it make any narrative sense no no <laughs> Do I care? No. Absolutely not. That was amazing. It's, it was such a good scene. It just what well, followed after us was just yes, we went over in. It was yeah, we, we, we've gone over that we, already. But just like that. I just knew, I'd like I messaged you, like why does Hopper have a song? <laughs> because he's cool. It's <laughs> fucking he's, cool. <laughs> because this is a D and D campaign. It That's is why. <laughs> and also, also very good. I don't know who was the one who pointed it out, but uh, remember how. Every main antagonist in every season is pointed out in the D and D game, like yeah. the Demogorgon, yeah, uh, Vecna, blah blah blah. blah. Versions and it, yeah. uh, and now we have Will's painting, and that is referencing another. Oh my D&D god, a dragon! Villain. Yeah, I didn't even think we could be fighting a dragon. <laughs> that sounds amazing. So yeah, people are assuming that 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 will have to do something in the mid season five, and I'm like, Very quick, mm. actually, somebody pointed out that. Um, they were like, I don't. They were like, I don't think that Mike is actually the heart of the party. I think that Will is, yeah. and I think I agree. I, agree. Uh, I think that the the and I don't think that the show necessarily thinks that Will is the heart of the party. I think that they know that Will is the heart of the party, but they put it to Will, and it, it actually it very much solidifies the point that Will is the one that manages to get Mike to do that thing by being the heart of the party. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. I agree. I agree. I, 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 uh, uh, predictions. I think they're gonna kill Will in season five. Really hope they don't, because that means that they are then fully going into bury your gaze territory. And I, I wanna, I wanna believe that they're not that stupid. I think <laughs> narratively it makes sense that he is one of the one of the victims. But like, it's so it it like it, because they've waited so long to like say it out loud that that Will is clearly gay. I'm really worried we're going to get another Castiel situation on our hands where it's like, I'm gay and now I'm dead. <laughs> and it's like, happen. please don't. We've had this enough. Yeah. Yeah. But... Season five predictions, I do think they're going to kill Steve. I think it's too narratively poignant at this point. 
like and, and I'm I, I'm more okay with it now because then it will actually be the end of the story, like I said before. But like it's agree. so they they had the entire thing with him this season was I want six kids and I want them apparently with Nancy. Um, that was very weird. Uh, <laughs> uh, I fully believe Steve is. I mean, we all believe Steve is dad. Steve with six kids, absolutely sure. Um, but uh, yeah, the, this whole thing of him being quite reflective on like what he wants with his life and all this sort of stuff. And I'm like, that man is going to sacrifice himself to save everybody. That is going to be his hero moment in season five. I, I can't see it being any other way because I really, on it, at this point, I actually don't know what Steve's going to do with the rest of his life. I hate this that, but I have to agree. I hate that. I still hate it. I also want Robin to get together with Vicky in the next season, like on screen, canonically. I want That's that probably in writing. Happen, to be fair. Um, I, I don't think they're going to just leave that you. there. Uh, <laughs> One would hope. <laughs> One would hope. Um, but yeah, I think Ellie's gonna die. If I I'm also honest. would agree with that. Um, and from the kids, I I still think it's gonna be Will. He's he's too connected to the whole uh, upside down thing. Still, like you know, he can he can still <laughs> he can still feel it. <laughs> like, it's there. Um, I did like the narrative the way that they put it, where he was like, um, "Now I know what it is." No, yeah, 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 makes yeah. so much sense. It, where he, yeah. he, like I can feel him. I know it's him now. It's yeah. like okay, cool. I like and, that. And you know the fact that he can still feel him. It's like, what are you, Will? Give me all superpowers. Yeah. So yeah, that's the predictions, and I have to fuck off. <laughs> so, you have to go. Um, uh, ten. Uh, uh, I will give it. I will give it an eight point five out of ten. I think I was going to say the exact same thing. Oh, Last yeah. thing. Finally got a drop of kiss. Thank, thank Christ. <laughs> I was so happy. I am. Like, I went, yeah, yeah. I was like, yes, you fucking idiots. Finally. <laughs> it was very, it was very earned though. At that yes, point, it was very like, oh earned. My God. Very earned. Uh, but yeah, uh, that was That's us uh, talking about that, another long episode. It's uh, the, we talked about Umbrella, and now we talked about Stranger Things. And next time we will be back with Tor. Yes, we will be live next week because yes. Lily's busy. I'm busy. I'm busy. <laughs> uh, she's coming back on Monday and then she's got stuff to do on Tuesday and it takes too long to edit things for Thursday. So we're just going to avoid having her have more stress and just go live on Thursday. Just, so we're going to yeah. do Thor. I imagine the week after, well, then we'll do The Boys because The Boys is the last episode comes out this week. Um, Obviously, we can't do both because yeah. that would be insane. That would be insane. Uh, but yes, we're going to do the boys as well because the boys is fucking awesome. I'm now caught up on the boys. You are, indeed. Uh, but this was us, and we love you all. Thank you. Bye. Bye bye.